Hey there, everyone. Leonardo AI is one of the most powerful and popular image generation models out there. With Leonardo AI, you can create any kind of high quality image. However, creating consistent character images used to be quite challenging. But after the recent major update, you can now generate countless consistent character images with Leonardo AI. In this tutorial video, we're going to explore how to use the character reference feature to create a consistent character image in various settings and environments with different facial expressions. More importantly, we can control the specific poses of the characters. Additionally, we can apply different art and photography styles to our images. So, let's dive into the steps to use the new character reference feature in Leonardo AI. First, we'll access the Leonardo AI website. I'll leave the link in the video description below. Then, you need to sign up for an account by entering your email address, creating a password, and hitting the sign up button. Or, you can also sign up directly using your Google or other accounts. I've already signed up, so I'll choose to log in with my Google account. The Leonardo AI homepage appears, and we'll start using the character reference feature by clicking on the image creation button. You can use a reference image that you have prepared beforehand, or create an image by typing directly into the prompt window with the character descriptions you want to use as a consistent character. Here, I have a sample character that I created using Leonardo AI, and I'll use her image. In the prompt window, we'll click on the image attachment icon and select character reference. I'll use the image I created earlier and uploaded here as the fixed image. You can click on this small icon to choose the reference level from low, medium to high. I've tried these levels and they all can produce similar images, so I'll choose the medium level. Next, in the settings section, under preset, you can create reference images from this character with different presets like anime, cinematic style, concept art, and many more, depending on your purpose. Here, I want to create a cinematic image from the girl, so I'll select cinematic kino. I'll choose cinematic as my preferred style, set the contrast to medium, and since I want to create high quality images, I'll click on quality. In the image dimension section, I'll choose my preferred 916 frame for mobile devices by clicking on the more button and selecting this frame. I want to create two images. You can create more images, but it will cost more Leonardo coins. In the advanced settings section for the cinematic Kino preset, the photo reel option will be enabled by default. For other presets, this photo reel feature may be disabled. My advice is to enable it to create the most realistic images. I won't cover other features here. You can experiment with them to suit your needs. All right, all the setups are ready and we'll start creating the reference images using the character reference feature from the fixed image we chose. We'll start with the prompt window and create the first prompt as follows. A woman standing on Wall Street during a busy bright day. She wears a bright yellow shirt. The image focuses on her with depth. The camera angle is from the side. And we'll start creating the image. Boom! We have the image of the girl created from the above prompt and referenced from the initial fixed sample character. Let's zoom in on the image to see how well Leonardo AI's reference feature works. Now, if you want different angles of the girl, you can change the camera angle, for example, from below, from above, or from the side, like the images I've created here. You can also change the girl's expressions by adding the expressions to the prompt, like so, happy and smiling, angry and sad. And here are the facial expressions of the girl that I created. Additionally, we can place our character in different settings and environments by changing the prompt, like in these examples. She is surfing on ocean waves. She is sitting on the grass in front of the Eiffel Tower, doing charity work in Palestine. And lastly, she is sitting in a luxurious restaurant. Of course, we can also change their outfits with different fashion styles to create the most unique outfits for the girl. I recommend using the fashion preset style for this. For example, we'll type in the prompt, fashion photo of a woman in a knee-length dress with fringe pearls and a cloche hat. She has bobbed hair. 
And here we've created an image of the girl with the fashion style described in the above prompt. In this example, I created the girl with many different fashion styles. You can view and create your own models this way. What do you think about this feature? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Now, we're moving on to a more exciting and unique part. One of the features of Leonardo AI in this reference section is the ability to combine the character reference feature with two other cool features, pose control and style reference. So let's start with the pose to image feature. In the image attachment section, we still use character reference, which is the fixed image of the girl we selected earlier. Next, we continue by selecting the accompanying image and clicking on the view more button. Here, when you scroll down, you'll see the pose to image feature. We'll select this feature to create reference poses for the character. Here, I have collected some images with clear poses for reference. You can also collect your own pose image to control the pose of your character. In this example, I want to create my character practicing yoga like in this pose image. You need to click on this small icon to choose the level you want to control the pose. To create an image with a pose similar to the pose image, we should set it to 1.2 to 1.4. Here I set it to 1.25. This is the number I find suitable to create a pose similar to the sample. If you set it lower, it might not give you the desired result. And I'll type in a very simple prompt. A woman practicing yoga on the grass under golden sunlight. Now let's start creating the image. Wow, here we have created images with poses similar to the pose image. Now we can practice with other poses and different settings by replacing the pose image and creating a background description prompt. The prompt here, and I have practiced creating images with these controlled poses. The general formula will be character reference combined with pose to image to get the desired output. You can see that these movements are quite accurately referenced by Leonardo. From standing poses, like the image just created, standing with hands in pockets, sitting poses with this hand style, the image created has very similar poses. And here is a quite difficult pose, the ballet dancing boy pose. As you can see, the image created only resembles the movement, but the angle isn't quite matched. Nothing can be perfect, Leonardo is getting upgraded, and surely the images in the future will be much more accurate. We continue to the style reference feature. This is one of the quite interesting reference features of Leonardo AI. We'll start again. First, we'll select the initial fixed image with the character reference feature. Next, we'll select the style reference feature. Here, I'll use an image with a clear style which is this image of a girl with wet hair in the rain and bright sunlight shining in. The image has quite high contrast. I'll take this image as the style sample for my character. You click on this small icon and select the desired level from low, medium, high, ultra to max. With this feature, I usually use two levels, ultra and max, to create the most similar style for my character. Here, I'll choose ultra and type a simple prompt. Create a portrait of the girl with the chosen style and start creating the image. And here is our output with the reference style. Do you think it resembles the chosen style? Remember this formula, character reference combined with style reference to create the desired output. You can practice with different styles that you collect. Here, I have collected some styles as examples and created images for my character according to these styles. Here is the style of a girl blazing like a flame, or this very artistic style, or the black and white portrait drawing style. What do you think about this feature? Very interesting, right? And even more interesting is that we can combine these three features together to create the most vivid images for our characters. The first feature is character reference, which is the initial fixed image for reference. Next is selecting pose to image, 
Suppose I want my character to stand in front of a wall like in this pose image and with this very artistic style. We'll type a simple prompt here. A woman standing in front of the wall. Here, we'll choose Ultra. Click on Create Image. And here we have the image of our character combined from the three features above. Our general formula will be character reference combined with style reference and pose to image to produce the desired output. Remember this method to create interesting images for your character. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. See you in the next video.